Hello everyone, I have the latest sketch box to share, so let's go ahead and go right in. This is the Art on the Box by Tammy Radomski. And, oh, easy to pull right on out. We'll keep it in the tissue for now. Oh wow, that looks like a magnet. Okay, where's my menu? Here is some art that comes in the box. That is very interesting. By Paulette Joe. And we have the menu here. I'm gonna slide this off the tissue paper. So let's start with, that's rolling away the substrate. Arnhem Premium Cotton Paper, Historic Mill, Unbeatable Value. That's weird, it's like, uh, this is not quite uh, attached there, but maybe that's intentional. Bright white, 12 sheets, 245 GSM, and of course it's 4x6. So, let's pull off a piece. And, set that there. This is, what do we have here? Derwent, Derwent Tinted Charcoal Pans. Hmm, so that is interesting. I wonder how different it is from the Derwent Graphitint, because I have a set of the Graphitint. That's cute, it just comes in this little thing, but uh, I kind of thought it would be like a travel set, but it's not. Okay, um, let's go ahead and look at the paintbrush real quick and then swatch these out. This is a Sketchbox Signature quarter inch chisel tip brush. It says it's valued at $10.25. And it's well protected, which is nice. A little bit of sizing on there. I've got some water just to my left here. We'll get that off of there and go right in to swatching. Let's look at this pencil. It's a pit pastel pencil in cream. It says use this fabric pastel pen pastel pencil in combination with the charcoal pans in this month's box. That's still pretty wet, but I'm just gonna maybe if that dries a little before the end. I'm not super familiar with pastels, so Actually, I'm not really familiar with them at all. We'll just be honest there. Not really familiar with them at all. Don't use pastels. And this, it looks like a magnet. Let me see. I've got a, mag a metal surface back here. Yep, definitely a magnet. So, no sticker, but cool magnet. Oh, you want to see that? And it is a magnet. Then we have a kneaded eraser. I'm not going to open this because I have kneaded erasers already opened. I'll leave that in the package. And, oh, what is this? A pit charcoal pencil that needs some sharpening. Hmm. That's interesting, unless you, well, oh, you can get something out of it without sharpening it. Let's just do that then, huh? Why not? I mean, I mean, I will sharpen it, but mm, I don't know if I like pastels and charcoals, but so that's messy. And then what do we have here? Koinor woodless graphite four-piece pencil set. I do like. I have some uh, woodless graphite pencils, and they're not Koinor, but I do like them. I like the feel of them, so let's see about these. I'm going to scoot the packaging aside. We have, what is this, a 2B, a 4B, a 6B, and an HB. And so we'll start with the HB. Let's write down, oh, it's pretty soft for an HB. Koei nor. Whoops, what? We'll just turn that into an R. 
I don't know what happened there. You know, it puts a lot of pigment out for for an HB. Then the t oh, I didn't identify that. Let's go with two B next. Maybe I'll grab my little kneaded eraser out of the drawer and see how well this erases. Then 4B and 6B, and I keep forgetting to identify this, that I know what it is later. Let's just start with 4B. Ooh, the 6B is very nicely sharpened. Okay. I laying them down, I don't know, I can't, I don't notice that much of a difference between them. Again, I'm no expert here. Oh, slightly softer maybe, but it still feels a little bit hard for a 6B. And then that one, I don't know. Okay. And then let's grab an eraser. I have a kneaded eraser here. I don't know which brand this is, if it's Faber-Castell or something else, so because obviously it's not in the package anymore. Let's see what we can do here. Um, let's just, sometimes I use it like this, rolling it kind of across the watercolor paper to just lighten the sketch, um, but then you can also like squish it and get it cleaner, and then you can make it into different shapes, like say I just want to get a little area and sharpening. Let me sharpen this. Okay, so, uh, I think I just, like, ate half my pencil because I was sharpening it in an electric sharpener. That probably isn't a good idea. I didn't know that, um, because it just kept sharpening it to death, so maybe don't use a, don't use a, an electric sharpener for that, um, so... Yeah, this is definitely shorter than when I got it. Uh-oh. All right, I have an idea of something I might do with this. And I'll pop that in on the end if I can. To start out, I've sketched out and traced out a little butterfly here and clover and clover flower. And then I opened the kneaded eraser. I figured, well, you might want to see how it performs instead of some random kneaded eraser. I didn't take all of it, this is just a piece of it. And the first thing I'm going to do here is just lighten my drawing because these Koinor pencils put out quite a lot of color. I don't want to make it so that I can't see my drawing, but I'm going to go ahead and lighten it and then I'll probably just speed up this section. Okay, final thoughts here for the tinted charcoal pans. Um, I kind of thought they had uneven pigment layout, and you can see here I'm doing a wet on wet technique for the background, and you can kind of see how it is. Sometimes it would lay more pigment down than I wanted. Uh, let's see, what else? They, they seem to dry super fast, so I was having to continually re-wet them. I did like the colors though, like the green, the blue, the purplish, I really liked that. And I did find that they layered really well. As you can see, I'm doing the clover here and I did kind of a light wash first and then was able to add in darker details later on, which, so I really liked that. I just really struggled with, it could have been the brush, it could have been my technique, it could have been the paper, it could have been the pans, but getting an even layer, especially with the green, you know, so I struggled with that. Um, as far as the, I didn't use the coin or pencils that much, but eh, I was kind of underwhelmed in their performance. I, I kind of like my woodless pencils that I have better, they're Creta color, I believe. And I really liked the pastel pencil, the, I think it's Faber, no, it's a Pitt pastel pencil, but that is by Faber's Castell, I believe. And it layered really well on top of the pans, and I also did this sort of resist technique, and I was able to keep kind of some of my color placement and not lose it there. As far as the charcoal pencil goes, eh, I'm kind of unfamiliar with charcoal pencil. I, it, I did like that it 
I didn't get messy because I did use a, like a handy makeup tool that I had nearby to smudge it. Thanks again for watching. I, I really liked what I created with this box, so I consider that a success. And I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing my thoughts and seeing the contents of this month's box. Thanks for watching. Bye!